Okay, so this is a very valuable exercise in number five where we're gonna write three nuclear equations. And, cause this is gonna be a decay sequence. So we're just gonna do this, we're gonna write three equations. So let's start with our first equation. So this is similar to writing um, polyprotic acid uh, deprotonization, deprotonation equations, sort of. All right, so we have uranium-235. If you have an interest in um, a nuclear power, um, this is a really great application for you, um, particularly as far as chemical engineering, uh, safety, um, even mechanical engineering, um, there are some good applications because you're gonna be having to build um, uh, uranium is 92, uh, building safety apparatus, um, drainage, things like that. Okay, so uranium-235 is going to undergo alpha decay. Alpha decay, that's a helium atom. Here's our product. So that's 231 and 90. The periodic table number 90 is thorium. Okay. This is the daughter nuclide. So we did the alpha decay. So now our second equation, bring down your daughter nuclide there. And it is now under, gonna, going to undergo beta decay. So beta decay, that's an electron. So no change in mass. Atomic number goes up by one. So now we are at proactinium. is PA. And finally, that daughter nuclide then becomes our starting substance, which is going to then undergo alpha decay. So 231, what's that? 227, 91 minus 2, 89. And 89 goes to actinium. So it's three equations there. All right. Now, after that, these should be pretty easy. All right, beta decay. This is uh, berkelium, BK249. So we're gonna be dealing with elements here that we don't deal with a whole lot. Atomic number 97. Undergoing beta decay, that's an electron. No change in mass number. Atomic number goes up by one. 98, California. Next, positron emission of oxygen 15. So you go, hey, Dr. B, I thought oxygen weighed 16. It does, that's why it's, this is weird. This is a weird isotope. So it's probably not very stable. So it's gonna spit off a positron. Nuclear chemistry has lots of fun words. All right, so it's gonna be seven. Seven plus one equals eight, yes. Atomic number seven, hopefully you remember that that's nitrogen. If not, use your periodic table. Uh, electron capture, iodine 111. Iodine is atomic number 53. and it's gonna capture an electron by in the nucleus. No change in mass number. Atomic number goes down by one. And 52 is tellurium. Okay, now this is, this is interesting. This is, we're gonna start with potassium 40 and potassium is atomic number 19. Something's gonna happen to it and we're gonna be producing argon 40. Argon is atomic number 18. Okay, so what needs to happen? Well, there's no change, because this is decay, so, de so we can't use electron capture. So we know this is what we start with. So we know we have no change in mass, and we know our atomic number decreased by one. 
So that's a positron. Positron image. So it's just like working a puzzle. Only compared to things we've done the rest of the semester, this is a very simple puzzle. 